In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and learn how to destructure props in a particular component. Now, if you go to the profile component, which we have created here, this particular profile component accepts props. And the way in which we have actually displayed those props up over here is that we have broken down those props into props.name and props.lastname. And whenever you have to use the profile component, so for example, let's say we have to use that profile component here. What we simply do is that let's get rid of the counter component first. Let's say profile here. And whenever we use this specific component, what we do is that we pass in the name and the last name attributes here. So let's pass a name here as Henry and let's pass in the last name as Ford. So if we pass that thing in and if we go back to our web browser, as you can see, you will get the name as Henry Ford. And this is because we have used props.name and props.lastname here. So there's one more way of doing this. So let's say you don't have to display or you don't want to write props.name or props.lastname here. Instead, let's say you just want to pass in a name and last name here. So how exactly is that thing possible? So if you do that for now, and if we go back here, you will actually get an error because right now name and last name are not defined. So what you could do is that when you pass in props to the component and when you receive the props here inside that particular component, you could first destructure those particular props and save those destructured props into these variable names like name and last name. So the question is how exactly would you do that? So in order to do that, you go right inside this particular component. And for now, let's get rid of the console log because we don't want to log anything to the console. And here in order to destructure those props, I would say const. And in order to use the destructuring, we make use of the curly brackets like that. So this concept of destructuring a particular object is not React specific, instead it's ES6 specific. So whenever you want to destructure some sort of an object, you always go ahead, make use of the curly brackets just like that, and then type in the variable names which you want. So here we want our variable names to be name and the last name, and we want to destructure this from the object which is props. So we simply go ahead and write the code like that. So what this does is that it takes the object it actually destructures those object into name and last name. So once that thing happens, now we will actually be able to go ahead and display name and last name there. So if I save this code, and if I go back here, as you can see, now I get Henry Ford here. So unlike next time, you don't have to do props.name or props.lastname. And even if you do this, this works fine as well, because ultimately props actually contain those particular object values. But now as the props are destructured, you don't have to go ahead and mention props here in your HTML or JSX code. So this is how you could perform destructuring in a function based component. Now in a similar fashion, you could also perform destructuring in a class based component as well. So now let's learn how to perform destructuring in a class based component. So I'll go ahead and I'll simply create a component which is going to be a class based component. Let's call this component as resume.js. And now I'll simply go ahead and first of all import component from react. And after importing that, I'll create a class called as resume. And I'll make this thing extend component. And once that thing is done, we'll have the render method. And in this particular render method, I will simply make this thing return some simple heading tag like this is a class component, save this. And now what I would do is that I would make this thing accept a prop. So in order to make this thing accept a prop, you actually have to create a constructor and do all of those things. But right now we are going to skip that part and we are automatically going to get a prop. So let's first go ahead, go inside app.js. Let's import that particular component. So I would say import resume from that's going to be dot slash components slash resume. 
And now let's get rid of this profile component from here and instead say resume. And let's say we want to pass in a simple attribute like name here and I'm going to pass in my name here. So if we do that and if we go to the component, in order to extract the prop, I simply have to go inside the render and I need to say const destructure the name attribute and say this dot props. So if I do that, now I'm actually able to access the name here and I simply need to say name here in order to get access to the name and display that name up over here. And one more thing which you need to do is that as you have created this component, you also have to export it. So I have to say export default, that's going to be resume. So once that thing is done, let's check our output here. And as you can see, it says this is a class component and it will display up my name here. And this is only possible because we have passed in props to the class based component and we have destructured that particular prop here. So the only difference between the functional component and the class based component is that you actually have to go ahead and use this dot props instead of using just props over here. So that's it for this lecture and this is how you could destructure props in a function as well as a class component. So in the next lecture onwards, we will go ahead and learn about event handling in React. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.